Yeah, good morning Sorry, everybody. Bob. I've just uh, come back from a flight over the mines and uh, things are looking extremely good. Um, the northern batters in particular. A lot of work being carried out uh, in that area. And as I uh, mentioned yesterday, we're now starting to progress down the southern batters. Work's commenced there. We've got additional pumps and and uh, cannons, water cannons on on the southern uh, on the southern batters at the northeast end. And uh, work in particular, uh, they're taking off the top edge of that um, of that batter, uh, and uh, we will water bomb that this afternoon, ready for tomorrow, for the for the weather conditions tomorrow. We'll also move into that hot spot we've got in the middle of uh, Delta and Charlie sectors uh, and uh, we'll work on that ready for tomorrow as well. We're bringing in additional resources this afternoon, uh, two additional medium helicopters and extra ground crews uh, with, along with four graders uh, to prepare uh, for tomorrow, uh, to have them on standby for a response for anything that comes out of the mine like it did last Tuesday. So we've done a lot of planning around that and we're well prepared. What are you expecting and when? Well, the, uh, the weather is, uh, uh, is difficult uh, to, de to determine exactly when, but our predictions are from 9 o'clock onwards tomorrow morning we'll get some mixing down of the, of the upper level winds from at about 1,000 metres downwards, and uh, that will impact on us uh, at the Hazelwood Mine. So we could have some erratic wind behaviour um, and, uh, and with uh, quite a bit of strength behind it, uh, 40, up to 40 k's plus. So, um, that gives us, it's in the north-northwest, uh, so that will give us a pressure on, on the southern batter of fire coming out of that area. What are you expecting in comparison to, to last Tuesday? Um, and I suppose you're expecting to lose some ground on this fire? Um, look, um, I reckon we may slip backwards slightly uh, because the wind that we will experience will impact on the batters, for sure. Um, but we've, we're in a lot better position today than what we were last Monday. So I think that's, that, that will make the extreme difference. We are actually a lot way further ahead in this firefight than where we were a week ago. Um, and uh, we will have some impact, but hopefully we can get on top of that very quickly and bring it back to, to the good position we're in right now. We heard um, Craig Lapsley say this morning that the, the fire was 85% contained. Can you confirm that and tell us where you're at in this fight and how things are looking heading towards the weekend? Yeah, that, that would be about my estimates. Uh, particularly if we look at the northern batters, uh, we're actually measuring those, uh, by, as I said yesterday, in li linear units. We've only got two of those units now that have 100% hot spots within them. I must say there are still plenty of hot spots on these batters and we are working on those, but they're, they're small enough for us to, to work on and contain further um, uh, before the wind actually hits us tomorrow. So we've got some time up this afternoon. The, uh, we'll start uh, water bombing very heavily on the southern batters this afternoon. So you'll see a lot of aircraft movement around the mine uh, this afternoon in, pre in preparation for tomorrow. There was talk of some sort of calculated collapse in that southern area to get rid of that hot sinkhole. Is that still happening? I looked at that sinkhole uh, just before and it's looking really, really good. Uh, it's actually, the, the earth in that area has dropped to the point where it's no longer a problem to us. What we're doing in the area adjacent to that is removing some debris um, and material for, uh, in that area so our crews can get in and safely work. As I've maintained all along, safety of our people, safety of the mines people and the community is our number one priority. Um, so we need to do that to make the area safe for our crews to get in there. The mines are already in there um, and laying, starting to lay additional uh, pipework for us to continue to cool that hot area. Can you tell us more about the pipework? The pipework? Uh, the, uh, you, the mains that we're being pulled in. Uh, the, the mains have been pulled in and they're currently being put in place. We hope for them to be up and running on Thursday. That is about taking water out of the mine. So um, once the large pumps are hooked up to this 4.7 kilometres of uh, main, it will take water from the ponds and put it into the treatment plant before going back into the Hazelwood Pond. So it's water in, water out, as we said, but uh, it's in our favour at the moment. So that those pipes will be reticulating the water from the Hazelwood Pond inch into the mine? and the, the They do. The, yeah. the, the water comes in from the mine and on a metered, um, in a metered manner. When water drops low in the mine, it opens up the valves and allows additional water to come into the mains. But whatever comes into the, main, into the mine has to go out of the mine. So we, at the moment we're taking more out than what we, that we originally planned. And that gives us more firefighting water. So uh, it's a very much a positive for us. How big a job has it been to put that system, you know, it's taken a lot of weeks. Tell us, can you, on a... 
Yeah, look, um, the, the pipe work on the Northern Batters uh, went in and is in and fully operational now. Uh, the sprinkler systems are in there working and uh, that's aided us um, significantly to get the job done. Uh, it did take the mines a while to, uh, uh, to put that in. They again pulled piping, piping across from your lawn to hook into that system. Uh, and now that it's in and operating, they're actually enhancing it to get greater pressure in there for us. So they're, in, they're actually enhancing that, that reticulated system on an ongoing basis. Should those systems have already been in place before the fire started? Uh, look, I can't comment on that. Uh, that's actually uh, something you'll have to ask the mines. What kind Do you know of if they were in place previously and if they were removed? I would imagine uh, as the mine was uh, in place in, when they mined that particular c component or that batter, there would have been a reticulation system in there. What can the Morwell community expect tomorrow? Uh, the Morwell community, uh, again, another rough day, weather-wise. Um, uh, late in the day, we'll have a southwesterly change, and that southwesterly change, will, the winds will be up for two to three hours. And that, again, will put the smoke over the Morwell community in particular. So, yes, they will be impacted again tomorrow, but in the up until the change, it'll be in the north northwest, and it would be obviously Churchill and those areas that will be copping uh, a bit of smoke. What's the worst case scenario when the winds change tomorrow morning? Worst case scenario for us would be that uh, we have a run out of the mine like we did last Tuesday, um, and uh, if that was to impact on the power station itself, uh, then that would have a significant impact on the opera on the overall operations. Last Tuesday, we um, we stopped the uh, the run of the fire from impacting on the bunker system there at the mines and the conveyor belts. We were on top of that very quickly. Our uh, our attack aircraft actually uh, put out hot uh, fire on, in the conveyor belt system. Um, so that was uh, very much a, a big advantage for us to have the right resources in the right place at the right time and we'll ensure that happens again tomorrow. How likely is that is that scenario occurring given the kind of the, 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 the better grip you have on the situation now than you did last time around? The, uh, the southern batters are still very hot in some areas and there are some, there are some still some burning face along the southern edge um, so there is a risk of this occurring t tomorrow. All we can do is plan and be prepared for it and if it does come out of the mine then we'll uh, hopefully get it under control very quickly. Bob, are we any closer to knowing when this fire might be be able to be handed over to GDF source? Yeah, again, we've still got a lot of work to do. Um, I made the comment yesterday and that was we're reading an elephant here. Uh, we've, had a, we've had a few bites of the elephant yesterday and, uh, and today we'll have a few more. Uh, we'll continue to work forward. There's a lot of work to be done yet. How long it will take us, I can't give you an accurate uh, determination on that. In terms of the fire being contained though, uh, Commissioner Lapsley said today that he's hopeful that after the weekend that that could potentially be a possibility, meaning there won't be as much smoke uh, going into the Moor community. Is that your understanding? Yeah, that's what we're working towards. We are, we, our whole strategy is about reducing the impact on the community and we're concentrating on those areas that are putting up the most smoke at the moment. Um, the centre, uh, the mine floor is, is giving us a little bit of grief on there and we are water bombing that and the mines are also putting water resources into that area. So wherever we've got a hot spot, we're trying to cool that to the point where it does take the impact off the community. That's our overall, our overall aim here. Um, as far as containment is concerned, it'll all, again, it'll all depend on tomorrow. We can have, we can have five steps forward and we can have six steps back. Um, let's hopefully we could just move, keep moving forward. The community's probably seen a bit of a reduction in smoke over recent days. Would that be due to, to the wind or is that due to the actual progress that's being made in there? My, my opinion, it's, it's, it's a bit of both. Um, the wind conditions and the weather have been favourable uh, for us over the last three or four days. But very much so, there is a far reduced smoke haze coming from that mine than, than the, each time I've driven into Morwell. Uh, it's, it's, it has reduced, but uh, flying it just a, just half an hour ago, um, the, the smoke haze off the mine itself is far, far reduced. So you're winning, the, winning this fight? I reckon we are. I, I personally do. Weather dependent, we are winning the battle.